guys that didn't have all the talent in the world. We just wanted to work hard and we wanted to win. I mean, it feels great though. Of course, we'd love to come out with the win, but I mean, it's a great, great time to be out here. There was not one point in the game where I thought we should lose this game. I, I mean, we came, we came back down three runs against Gilbert, against Miranda. We came back and run with those teams. I thought we could have done the same. I think we just take this as more motivation now. Now that everyone knows what it feels like to be in the state championship game. I think we just got to keep pushing forward, keep working harder. I think both teams made both crucial mistakes in the beginning. It's just they just managed to capitalize. They had luck on their side. We just, it wasn't our turn yet. So we just got to keep practicing and just keep waiting. Yeah, it really does. I don't like this feeling at all. And now I just keep adding. And now it's going to make me a better person I know. It's going to make me to the person that wants to achieve something that they have done. I'm just, honestly, I'm glad I've met them in these past two years. They've been, they've been such brothers. I mean, they've mentored me from when I was down. And now I feel like now I could be a, a mentor to them and just be so, a companion that they need whenever they need to talk to. So I feel grateful for them. Anytime you get the opportunity to be in this position at the end, but the way we battled and played eight games in all these weeks, man, I'm just I'm just ecstatic right now. I'm just excited that we got to this point and we had the opportunity again. And that's all you live for as a coach to get to the end and then see what happens. Yeah, would you like to win that last one? Would you like to win the 30? All those numbers that our younger guys obviously uh, were taught by a group of seniors really that only had one year to prepare for this. Uh, they were one-year players, so these seniors really did a great job in and you know making that adjustment and getting us the opportunity to be here. So they think they taught those young guys that anything's possible. They threw up three runs on no hits and I looked at that I said how's that possible and I got to attribute that aggressiveness that they play they play very similar to us they're trying to take bags on us and they're trying to advance runners and they did all that like I said but without executing a hit was setting up to be the traditional type of win the Tucson High always comes back and wins and in the years that I remember of the 87 88s got the bases juiced and we find the guy to clutch up and obviously today we just didn't have that guy uh, it's something special to get back here, but we're only able to do the job, and that's going to keep us going for next year. I expect to be back here 100%, and 100% next year we're going to take it off. Well, this this these last two years have been a learning experience, and we're just going to come back and finish it. This season, I've really learned a lot about myself personally, and I learned that I could count on anybody and everything. In any situation, we always believed and we always knew that we are in the fight no matter what. We've been in it. Nobody expected us to be here in the last months of May. We proved everybody wrong and a lot has gone right our way. Unfortunately, today just didn't happen.